I'm Jamie Lee with BirdTricks.com and I'm a professional parrot trainer who loves what I do. My goal with these videos is to answer any and all questions parrot owners have about their beloved feathered kids. Ask away and I'll try to keep up. See a bird in my videos you want to see more of? Let me know and I'll feature that flock member even more. <laughs> Dave just came in to tell me something and Bandit like mimicked the whole conversation. It was really funny. I wish I would have had my camera on, but I just figured I'd rub it in your guys' face that you totally missed something super cute. I just realized how rude that was. Stop it! You see? You like your face being eaten? So, um, I got asked a bunch of questions about galahs. So I'm trying to make all these videos at once to answer them. It says, Jamie, I watched your last video about whether to get an umbrella cockatoo or a gray. It got me thinking about the galahs and their manageability. I see from the videos how well Bandit acts around you and how well Bondi acts around Dave. My question is, do you recommend a galah for a bird? First of all, I don't recommend cockatoos to people. But if you're going to get a cockatoo and your heart's set on a cockatoo, this is the one I would tell anybody to get. I won't tell you to get a different kind of cockatoo ever. Nope, you won't hear it from me. Okay, um, the other question is also... Do they make much noise in the morning? Um, all birds make more uh, noise in the morning and at night. And these guys are no um, exception. They make um, what I like to call celebration noises and celebration screaming. They flip upside down, put their wings out, and just start screaming bloody murder. And it's hilarious. Like, I really enjoy that screaming because I know that they're just celebrating the fact that they're alive. <sighs> I just eat him back when he tries to eat me. Um, cool, he found something to do. I don't remember where I was going. Oh, yes, they make noise in the morning. It's a lot of noise. They can get pretty loud. Um, our birds aren't that loud, but when we adopted Ace, he was, like, much louder than our two, and, uh, so that was kind of surprising, so I understood what my friends were going through when we adopted him. Um, so they can. Yes, they can be super loud. Do... You are so distracting. Do you believe, from your experience, that the gender appeal of male owner, male, ah, female owner, male bird, and male owner, female bird applies? Um, I know he's a talker. Major distraction! But could you use Gregor in the video? Ah! Okay. Yes, I totally believe in that. And from experience, it happens all the time. It's like, He's attracted to me, and Bonnie and Cressy love Dave. It's, like, disgusting. I upload a video of Dave and Cressy. It's ridiculous. Like, they're ridiculous. You and I aren't that bad. Um, but yes, so I do, I do notice that a lot. Um, here's Gregor, and I can't focus on what else I was asked. I think I answered everything, actually. Um, they are really great companions, but they're super high maintenance, and I don't think people realize. Like, they see me and my birds, and it's a really cute video, but you don't buy them from the pet store or from the breeder like this. You know, like, there's a lot of training that goes into this. There's a lot of, like, upbringing, raising, you know, and you're not going to, like, buy a bandit or a bondi from somebody. You Like, that's how we've raised them. A lot of work has gone into it that people don't necessarily see. So, they're very challenging, and they're a lot of work, but it's totally worth it, and I love them, and they're so crazy, and I just love them to death, but I don't normally recommend them to people because they're high maintenance. Eat my face. I mean, eat your face. Oh, We got totally distracted. <laughs> so, 
yeah, I guess that's the conclusion of my video. I got totally distracted living on my cock too, so yeah. I'm not trying to talk people in or out of them. We need some preening help, bud. But um, just know that they're like super cute, but they're super maintenancey too. And Gregor, you there's nobody helping you out there with your preening because this is ridiculous.